It works. Okay guys, welcome to the workshop. Today we're working on eaves troughs. It's the rainy season. The rainy season came real early, so I gotta get this done. So what we're making is something I saw on YouTube years ago, and I'm gonna make my version of it. I think they called it a first flush. And basically what it is, is this. If you got your eaves trough, now you're gonna get to see that I can't draw. <laughs> There's the eaves troughs on the side of the workshop. So what I'm going to do is use a PVC pipe to make this. And uh, I'm going to use 3 inch pipe. And all this is, is just a series of pipe and elbows with an opening down here. Uh, so you can clean it out. So the, the water is going to, this is closed. The water is going to come off the roof through here and fill this pipe. When the pipe is full, it's going to be a T right here. And the pipe is going to come down and drain into the water tank. So once this is full, the initial water, the dirty water cleaning the roof will fill this pipe and when it gets to here, when the water level gets to here, it will go down into the tank. Really this should be a lot bigger, it should have more capacity, I got a lot of roof, this is going to fill up in minutes, <laughs> very very quick, but it's something. So theoretically, all the bird crap that's in the eaves trough now is going to come down, fill this part, and then uh, overflow into the water tank. Uh, the first rain of the year when the roof is dirty, everything is dirty, dusty, full of leaves, just leave this open and all the dirty water will just flow out the bottom, you know. Uh, if it's a really big storm, then you can come out and close this. It'd be easy enough to do. Or just close it after the first good rain. Everything is clean. The second rain, you get the, the cleaner water. Theoretically, we'll see how that works. But I think it's worth a try. And we'll see what happens. This water is for the house. I have a double filter system. So, and we don't drink the water anyway. But it's a double filter system uh, before it even goes into the house, so it's not a big deal. We've been catching rainwater for years, ever since this house has been here actually. Just this year, we'll catch a lot more. Here's where it's going. I'll have a pipe come across to here, to the edge of the window, and then down. I'll have to move all these blocks. <laughs> And my drain, my uh, my clean out will be down here. And then I'll have a tee off here to come over into the water tank. I've had this tin on here ever since I put the water tanks there. It's caught a ton of water, but I'm not going to need it anymore, so I'll take that down. Uh, this will be an, more than enough water. The tank won't even be able to uh, accommodate as fast as it's gonna come, that's for sure. This, these tanks will overflow very quick. But that's okay. The tank will be full anyway. So let's do it. Okay, here's the clean out. This is actually the top for a septic tank. It's the access port for a septic tank. That's all I could get. Uh, be nice to have a plastic one on here with a, a big knob, you know. This will work. This goes into uh, into this elbow. Boom. This should work. I'm not going to glue anything together. I'd never do on uh, on stuff like this. I'll pop a screw in here, 
maybe two but I won't glue it so if I'm not happy with it I can change it Now these cuts, they don't need to be perfect, huh? This pipe pushes together a long way, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I always cut mine with the uh, angle grinder. This is a zip cut blade. And this gets very, very thin. They're a little bit dangerous, but uh, it gets the job done. A good way to mark pipe or anything round, they actually have a special tool for this, I don't know what it's called. A sheet of paper works just fine. All you gotta do is make sure the paper is flat and the corners line up and then you have a straight line. If you're worried about straight lines and everything, that is. Close enough, right? Well, it's the next day. I finished it last night. In the dark. <laughs> and there it is. There's the, the drain right there. It rained a little bit last night. I don't know, maybe there's water in there. It's just a few drops. Let's see over here. I always put this blue net over the water tanks. Uh, it catches a lot of leaves and all the bigger stuff, you know. Anything that might be in there, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Now none of this is glued together, not one, not one joint is glued. There's no screws, it's just pushed together, that's it. It's uh, very, very tight, so uh, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Uh, stainless steel wire here, hold it to the window, the window box. Stainless steel wire here. And stainless steel wire here. This is the only one that really needed to be there just to hold that in place because that's the only screw I used. I think I'm gonna have way more water than I can handle. These water tanks, it looks much different now. I took the the tin down that was on there to catch the rain. It uh, really opened it up. These three tanks are all together. I do plan on changing this so this pipe is actually on the ground. If I put a 90 out of there, it goes. it's going to go in on an angle like this and follow the contour of the tank so it'll be out of the way. It's not a big deal for, uh, for us, but if somebody comes along or a kid or something, a crazy dog stands on it, we're going to have problems. But uh, it's done. It was easy. It should work. I can't see why it won't work. We had a big rainstorm the other day. And even though this was open and the water was hitting the ground, it rained for like half an hour. And in here, all along this side, it wasn't even wet. And uh, this side just wet because of the runoff. I was standing in here in the middle, and you wouldn't even know it was raining. Not, not one drop was hitting me. So uh, 
the hip trough does the does the job. Alright guys, so that's it. Another project done. One more to take off the list. <laughs> As always guys, thanks for watching.